this is Gina. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really easy knotted beaded leather bracelet. So we're going to be using some little fold over ends to encase the leather and then we're going to just knot between beads. You can use any beads that you would like. You just have to make sure that you adjust the way that you put your knots on next to them to give them enough room to be next to each other. So this is a double strand bracelet, just like this. I'm going to be using some of the beads that came in the Golden Harvest Treasure Bag. However, like I said, this is a techniques video. You can do this with anything you would like. So all you need is some one millimeter leather cording and some beads, some little fold over ends, and you can make a cute little bracelet. And they stack really nice together. You can use any color of leather you'd like. In this one, I used a golden and a brown. In this one, I used a cream and a golden. So you can make the bracelet look different using different colors of leather also. You can make one very masculine by using brown and black or whatever you'd like. You can make them several ways with lots of different types of beads. They're pretty easy to make. So let's go ahead and look and see what it takes to make this bracelet and get started. Okay, for this particular project today, I am going to be using some of the beads found in the Golden Harvest Treasure Bag. This is a 12 by 6.5 um, bamboo bead. I believe that's the measurements. And you can use any type of bead you would like. You could use a long cube, cuboid, whatever you'd like, as long as it will fit over your one millimeter leather. So having said that, we are going to be using two pieces of one millimeter in diameter leather, and I'm going to be using a gold and a off-white. So I've got this creamy white and this gold. I bought this at Michael's. I just run up there whenever I need something in particular. So this is one millimeter as you can see and it has a few colors on it. If you're going to make it more masculine, you can get one that's more like this that has browns and blacks. So you can also um, change the colors to change whether you want it to be more masculine or feminine. I'm going to use one of the toggles that was in the treasure bag. This has like a little flower motif on it. You can use just a basic, if you're going to make it masculine, use just a basic stainless steel kind of heavy toggle like this or maybe a bigger um, lobster claw or something more masculine. Then, to make this bracelet, you're going to need some cord ends, and these are fold-over cord ends. I also got these at Michael's in a package of different sizes. I'm going to use the middle size here, and this is about 10 millimeters from the top of the loop to the bottom and about 4 millimeters across, and that fits perfectly with the two strands of 1 millimeter leather cording. Then I'm going to use two jump rings to attach the loop of my cord end to my toggle. And that's what we're going to be using. Of course, you can use any beads you would like. A nice long cube would work well, um, an 8x4 cu cuboid, as I said, just as long as it fits over, the hole fits over your leather. You can use round beads too. You may just have to adjust the tightness of your knot so that they lay nice together. And Let's go ahead and get started with this project. Okay, to start this project, we're going to grab the two lengths of one millimeter leather cording that we have cut, and we're going to tie a knot on either side to start this project. Because if you put your knots on after you put your cord end on, it has a tendency to loosen and pull the cords out. So we're going to do this first. So we want to place a knot about oh, an inch, inch and a half down onto our leather cording. So I am just going to take the end here and make a little loop and then put this end through it. So it's like tying an overhand knot. It is tying an overhand knot. But because I want to place this knot right where I want it, I'm going to use a pair of narrow tweezers. You can also use a pair of narrow nosed pliers. And what you're going to do is you're going to reach in to the loop you just made and grab the length that comes out. So the long length right here of the cording, you're going to grab a hold of it. 
Now it's inside your loop and you just pull the end. That way you can make sure to guide your knot right where you want it to be. Just like this. Once you've got your knot where you want it to be and you've tightened it around the tweezers, then you just pull the tweezers out and you tighten the knot. Pull on it. Then you're going to, and you can see, I have maybe a little bit more than I need here, but I'm still up towards the top of my leather. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to tie another knot. And get it basically in the same place. I reach into the loop, grab the piece of leather that's coming out. It's inside the loop. Hold on to it so I can kind of put it where I want it. I don't want it there, so I'm going to move it up a little bit. That's a little bit too long still, so I can loosen it and I can just move my knot up where I want. You don't really have to use the tweezers at this point, but it helps a little bit guide where you want your knot to be. So now I have my two knots on my cording. I'm going to tighten them and then I'm going to figure out which side I think is prettiest and I think this side is the prettiest so I'm going to have that side down on my knots because on either side of your knots they're a little bit different. So let's see. Which side do I like? Yeah. So I'm going to have that side down and then I am going to pick up my little cord end here and I'm going to place both of these cords in it very close to the knots making sure that the cord that goes inside is parallel next to each other like this. And then I can hold on to that with my thumb here and my finger and you can also just turn it around like this and hold on to the cording and hold on to the loop of the cord end. This is actually easier. So we're just going to place these inside and this way I can hold on to it like this. You want the knots fairly close, but not directly on top of your cord end. Then I have a pair of Mighty Crimpers. You can use a regular crimp tool. You can use a regular plier if you'd like. But I'm going to use Mighty Crimper. This is by Beadsmith. They work really great with cord ends. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place right on the end here, there's a little flat part. I'm going to place it on one side of the cr cord end, and I'm just going to kind of bend that side over just like that. Then I'm going to take the tool and place the cord and into this first divot here. There's a round divot closest to the tip here. I'm going to place it from the side that I have not closed yet and I'm going to push it down and I am going to crimp this closed just like that. Now you can see really closely I have this encased. It's nice and secure. I can give it another little squeeze just to make sure that it's very secure and I'm not going to pull my leather out as I'm making my cords. If you'd like, you can put a drop of glue in there, but I find it messy, so I don't do that. Now, I make sure that it doesn't move. It's good. I'm going to take this excess and I'm going to bend it over and I'm going to grab my flesh cutters and on the flat side of the flesh cutter I'm going to place it very close to the uh, fold over and I'm going to pull on the piece of leather and I'm going to kind of push down and cut that off so that the leather is cut very close to the bottom here to the fold over um, end here just like that. Now I have two knots and I have my um, end on and I'm ready to start my bracelet. So I'm going to work from this side. So I'm going to turn it over on the side that the little ends are coming out of and the other side will be my front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a bead and I'm going to place it on. Now if you're having issues getting your beads on, these fit pretty well over one millimeter, but some beads might not. So you can take your scissors and cut the end in a diagonal, cutting the length of the um, cording a little bit, not necessarily just cutting a diagonal 
straight across the top of it. You want to narrow the end. So I've got, I've cut it diagonal, reducing the size of the leather a little bit on the end. And you can do that on both sides to help you get it through the bead. Now I'm going to place a bead on either side of my cording. And I want to arrange them so that they'll lay next to each other nicely. The first one I will tie up very closely to the knot that I've already created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of push that down, hold into my fingers to where it is where I want it, and then I'm going to take my cord, I'm going to make a loop by crossing it over itself, and then I'm going to bring the long length of leather through the loop I just created, just like this. Now I'm going to grab my narrow tweezers here and I'm going to place it right underneath this bead, making sure this bead is where I want it. So I'm going to give just a little bit of slack on the top here, away from the top um, knot so that my bead will not stick straight out. I want it to bend down a little bit. So I'm holding on to this piece of leather right where I want my knot to be and then I'm going to pull the long length of leather until I get it nice and tight around my little tweezers. I'm going to pull my tweezers out and then I am going to push down on that knot and pull on the leather. I'm using my fingernail. I'll also show you how to use the tweezers on the next one here. So now I want to align these so that they're actually going to bend down and lay next to each other. So I'm going to kind of play with my positioning of my fold over and my beads. I've got it where I want it. Then I can just make a loop around my finger. I can drop the other one now and go through the loop with the longer length of leather here. And then I can grab my pliers or my tweezers and go through the loop and grab onto the length of leather that's coming out of the bead right there. Now I'm going to reposition Make sure everything's going to lay the way I want. That looks good. Keep my uh, tweezers there and then pull the long length of leather. Now, I've got it as tight as I can get it. I'm going to pull my tweezers out and I'm going to go up a little bit higher on my tweezer. I'm going to place it on the bottom of that um, knot and I'm going to push it down. That way, if you don't have fingernails, you can use your tweezers or your pliers or whatever you're using to anchor your knot, you can use that to push your knot down and make sure that it's positioned right underneath the bead, just like that. Now we're going to pick up another bead. Place it right underneath that knot and I'm going to make sure that I'm tying my knots always from the same side so that the other side looks the same. The knots are basically um, uniform. So. I started on the side with the leather coming out, so I'm going to make sure that I have that side, and then I place my bead, and then I make a loop, go through the loop. Come here, you little pooper. And then, once I have made that loop, I'm going to take my tweezer, go through the loop, and grab underneath the bead. Make sure the bead is positioned the way you want it, and then pull your leather. Pull it down until it's pretty secure. Pull the, the tweezers out, push down on that knot, and pull on the leather, just like that. Use your fingernail or use your tweezer to push it down. Now, as you're doing this, just kind of fiddle with it, get it to lay the way you want it, tighten your knots the way you want to tighten it, and then grab another bead and do the same thing again. So we're going to put this one through and then position it, pick it up, wrap it around your fingers, go through the loop you just created with the long length of leather. Now you have your loop, you pick up your tweezers, you go through the loop, hold on to the bottom of the bead here and pull. Take the tweezers out, Place them on top of the knot and push and pull the leather as you do that. Get your knot positioned the way you want it, just like that. 
and then position your bracelet again. Make sure everything looks just like you like it. And just continue doing that. Very repetitive from this point on. So I will do one more knot and then we will go to length and come back and I'll show you exactly how many beads I'm going to place. I believe I'm going to put 10 beads on either side here. So I will use 20 beads in total. My bracelet should be about a seven, seven and a half inch bracelet. So you have plenty of cord to do more if you need to. So I'm just going to make my loop, pull the leather through, Place the tweezer underneath the bead, right where I want it, making sure there's no slack where the other, where the previous knot is, and then pull the leather. Pull it out, place your tweezer on top, pull the leather, and push on the knot. Just like that. Then you can play with the knot a little bit more if you need to. Straighten everything out and then do the other side. And just continue knotting your beads onto your leather until you have 10 beads with knots in between on either side. Now, this measures at this point from the tip of my fold over to the last bead, just a little over six inches. My clasping with my both my ends and my little jump rings depending on what size you use and your clasping is going to add another inch and a half so you can judge from there if you need more or less now I had plenty of leather I cut it down a little bit but with what we started with you can make almost any length of bracelet if you're making a very small one you probably want to use less than 20 inches to start with and you should be able to make most any size you would like now, I've made 10 on either side. Like I said, this is going to be seven and a half inches. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my two ends. First, I'm going to kind of stretch my knots, tighten them by stretching them and making things a little bit straighter because because of the way they're knotted and stuff, they're a little wonky here and there, and that's okay. That's kind of the charm of the bracelet. That's okay, but you don't want them to be really weird, and you want to get some of the stretch out of the bracelet, so you hold on to the first couple beads here so that you're not pulling too much on the end, and just kind of straighten and pull, and you're going to get a tiny bit more length that way too. Now your knots are secure, and you are going to pick up your end, of your cording. Now I like to do this in my left hand so I'm just going to place both my cords in the little fold over. Let's see if I can do this without being too clumsy like this and then I'm just going to push it down until I can adjust it to where both of my knots or just below it on either side, just like this. Now you want to leave a little tiny bit more slack on one side than the other so that they can lay next to each other nice. Just kind of hold them together and make sure they're going to lay together nice. And then again, I'm going to pick up my Mighty Crimper and I'm going to start on one side. I'm just with the flat part of my plier and I'm just going to push one side down. Just a little bit, like that. And maybe a little more than that. Then I can adjust my cords, make sure they're in there correctly. And then I can place this in my Mighty Crimper from the side that I haven't pushed over and begin to close it. And now that I've closed it, I can put my crimper back on and tighten it. I'm trying to see where I'm at here. There we go. Now you can see it's nice and tight, just like this. Make sure, pull on it, make sure it's not gonna slide off. And again, you can put glue in there if you want. I just, I'm not a glue fan, so I just get it everywhere. And then I'm just going to squeeze it a couple more times, just gently. You don't wanna squeeze it so much that you break your leather inside there, because there are little pokies on either side. It can go into the leather to hold it. That's what it's designed to do, but if you, squeeze it too much then you can cut your leather. Then we're going to bend this over, grab the flesh cutters and place the flesh cutters very close to the 
little top of the tube here and cut. And now I have the body of my bracelet here. Now I think last time I used a little bit bigger jump ring. I'm going to see if this will work fine because I've made one already as you can see in different colors. And I got my knots a little bit neater on that one. <laughs> but anyway, it's pretty. So let's pick up a jump ring and find the opening. Right there is my opening. I'm going to place a plier on one side. Then I'm going to grab another plier and place it on this side and just open it. Then I'm going to put it through the hole of the fold over. And then I'm going to put one of my ends on it, my clasping ends. This might not be a big enough jump ring, let's see. Yeah, it is. And then I can just close my jump ring again. So since I twisted it open, I'll just twist it closed, making sure that it's closed tightly. And then we can go ahead and put the other end on the same way. So go ahead and put it on and we'll come back and look at the finished product. Okay, so this is what it looks like now that I've got my clasping on. I just made sure that I put it on to where the side with the that we were working on that has the little leather sticking out, that's towards my wrist. So the outside is the side that you cannot see the leather sticking out on my clasping here. So you can see. And then you can see my knots are pretty uniform. They look pretty good because I kept it positioned the same way every time I made a knot so they look pretty good. And here's another one I made in different colors. You could do this with pink, red, whatever color leather you can get and make it a lot more feminine. I actually was kind of keeping mine more on the masculine side. I could just do this in black and brown, and um, or I could leave it these colors. This co these colors are fine too. Put a little bit different clasping on, and then I'd have one for each of my sons. Though I would have to make one a little bit bigger because one of my sons is bigger than me. So, you know, both of them are, but one of them could probably wear this size, maybe. So that's what that looks like. And um, you can make a bunch of them together, stack them like this. They look really pretty. You can use any type of beads you want. Using, like I said, an eight by four um, cuboid or something like that, as long as it fits over the leather, that would be really pretty too. I think I might show you another style with a mix of some crystals too. So anyway, We'll do that later, but this is what this looks like, and you can make it for a boy or a girl or in between. doesn't matter. It turns out really pretty. Anyway, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you next time. Bye-bye.